Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to discuss with you my top 12 most read authors. Now, it isn't quite accurate. And the reason why is I used the list off of my Goodreads homepage to find my most read authors since I have joined and signed up on Goodreads. Any book that you keep track of, of course it keeps track of your authors and how many pages and you know all of that great stuff for you. And one thing is the authors, that's what I'm using. So I think I signed up in October of 2013 and or maybe 2014 so it's only been a couple of years that I've been on Goodreads one author that I know for sure that I have read a ton of is John Grisham and he is not on this list so there are some authors that I read before I joined booktube or before I joined Goodreads that I didn't really keep track of and they're going to be missing off of this list. So these are really ones since I joined Goodreads and since I've been on booktube, ones that I have been reading a lot of. So this may come as no surprise, but I wanted to go ahead and share my top 12 most read authors with you. They're in no particular order. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and list them. The first one being Gemma Holiday. I read her books on ebook, which is shocking, I know. This is like right, I don't know, I guess it had to have been either right before booktube or like right when I joined Goodreads um, or maybe even after and I just like added them to my Goodreads page. Um, I did read these on iBooks on my iPad and I read, she has, Gemma Holiday has like four mystery series. Um, they're kind of like those cozy mystery series, kind of like not really serious thriller or suspense, but pretty like a contemporary mystery <laughs> is how I would describe it. Um, but I read her Killer in High Heels series or what is it called? Killer in High Heels, I think. But I read the first five books and two short stories and I still have four more books to read and a novella to be finished with a complete series or at least everything that is published to date. Um, I'm slowly but surely hoping to add these to my Kindle so then I just have them in my Kindle collection. But Gemma Holiday writes really fun and fast paced mysteries about you know, the, it centers around one character and kind of like her stumbling into these murders and solving them and it's a lot of fun so I really enjoyed them. Next up on the list is Patricia Cornwell. I have read a ton of her stuff. I talk about her quite often on my channel. She writes um, mystery, thriller, suspense type books. Um, the Case Scarpetta series is one that I am absolutely obsessed with. I don't, I haven't really been reading a lot of her since I joined booktube just because there is so many books to read. Like I used to reread her books like all the time, um, but I don't do that anymore. I did read one last, reread one last year. I kind of need to get on it, but I just feel like there's so many books and so little time. Patricia Cornwell and John Grisham were definitely ones that I read way before booktube, way before good reads but I just happened to have read enough Patricia Cornwell and logged enough of those books that it actually showed up on this Goodreads list. The next one that I'll talk to you about is John Green. His books are contemporary. A lot of people think the characters are a little bit flawed because they all seem to be the same in every single one of his books. My favorite book by him without a doubt is Looking for Alaska. I absolutely loved that book. A lot of people hate it but I really enjoyed it. I also enjoyed Fault in Our Stars but I don't think his books have a huge reread value um, and I haven't seen any of his movies yet so and I haven't read Paper Towns yet still sorry you know, busy and all that. And let's see, next up on this list is Rainbow Rao. I have read everything that she has published to date and I'm hoping that she's working on a great contemporary because those are the stories of hers that I love, whether it be YA or adult. I just absolutely love her contemporary works, especially um, Eleanor and Park. That really got me rolling with reading again. So thank you to Rainbow Rao and thank you to Eleanor and Park. I've also read a lot of Brian K. Vaughn. Um, his graphic novels like Saga and Why the Last Man. I believe I have read one other work besides Saga and Why the Last Man from him, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I should have researched before I made this video, but I didn't quite do that. So here we are, not knowing. But yeah, I absolutely love his stories. Um, they're kind of like sci-fi, intergalactic, and um, Why the Last Man is more post-apocalyptic. Um, the main character being the last man on Earth and his monkey, of course. So I really enjoy both of those series and I can't wait to continue on. Another writer that I absolutely love and made this list 
vocalist is Maggie Stiefvater. She is from my home state of Virginia. She wrote The Wolves of Timber Falls, The Scorpio Races, The Raven Cycle Series, and I have read all of the Raven Cycle Series and just book number one of The Wolves of Timber Falls. And I just recently got a copy of The Scorpio Races for my library, so I am hoping to try to read that this month. We shall see. Another contemporary romance writer that I absolutely love and who made this list is Colleen Hoover. I am so excited about her new book because she has said that it's a very personal book for her and I think the early reviews are saying that you can absolutely tell that the emotion is just dripping off of the page and I have only really disliked one of her books and I didn't hate it. It just definitely wasn't for me but everything else I have absolutely loved from her especially November 9 and I really liked finding hope and or losing hope was it finding hope or losing hope <laughs> but I really love her stories they're super fast paced and I just really can't get enough of them Marissa Meyer made this list because of the Lunar Chronicles absolutely love that series love those books Scarlet is my favorite I am a hardcore Scarlet and Wolf shipper and I like the other characters a lot but they were just my favorite from the very beginning and I'm staying true to that couple so they are definitely one of my OTPs Marissa Meyer also has a book coming out later this year maybe you have heard of it it's called heartless and I am so freaking excited about this book it is a another retelling but this time it's kind of like an um the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland retelling like her earlier stories so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm so jealous of everybody getting the arc so oh my gosh I don't want to be spoiled but I'm so excited and it looks gorgeous Another contemporary writer, surprise, Stephanie Parkins. Absolutely loved the Anna and the French Kiss companion trilogy. Um, I'm hoping to read some more works by her because I really enjoyed all of those. I thought her characters were very different. It was not set just like in the United States or anything. Like they did some traveling and they were just really fun, cute love stories that also had a lot of layers. Like you're just like, oh, they're so cute. Like how they met or you know how they interacted with each other but some deeper things happened as well like there's family dynamics and friendship dynamics and you know studying abroad so I absolutely loved those books and I can't wait to read more from her. Mary Kay Andrews who also writes under the name Donna Andrews and I believe she has one other name that she writes under. She writes contemporary romance and I really love her stories especially for the setting they're usually set in like the south like Georgia or you know South Carolina or even North Carolina and they're usually like in this coastal town or these towns that just sound like too freaking cute you want to go visit and take a little vacay there but I love her writing and they're just super fast paced and I love reading them like poolside or just really anytime I can get my hands on one of her new books and she does have a new book out and I believe it's called The Weekenders and the cover is just so colorful and so perfect and I want to read it soon. The last two authors on this list is Lee Bardugo and Lois Lowry. Lee Bardugo, I have read four of her books. I have read the Grisha Trilogy and I have read Six of Crows. There's something about her books that just are not for me. I'm not really loving the characters in the Grisha trilogy except for like one or two characters and I think I was like in the minority with the characters that I liked and the second book in that trilogy I really struggled through. Six of Crows it just it centered like everybody was like oh it's a heist story. The heist story was like this big. There was everything else. Now I really did love the characters in that book but there's just something off with her books. They get a lot of hype and I am not on that hype train so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I do plan on following up with the duology for Six of Crows though. I believe it's call, called Crooked Kingdom so I will definitely be checking that out. And then one of my very favorite authors thanks to her giver quartet is Lois Lowry and of course I have read all four of those books in that quartet. I have the box set. It has a map and it's just glorious and wonderful and I just love her to death but I'm hoping to get some of the other books that she has published and I don't know if she's doing any more writing. If she is, I will definitely be interested in those. But The Giver is kind of like this utopian society and like I love reading stories like that. Um, actually my story that I have been working on is a utopian instead of dystopian, it's a utopian society and you know, so 
I don't know, maybe she inspired me or something, but I absolutely love these authors. These are ones that I really enjoy reading their works, except for maybe Lee Bardugo. I just happen to have read four of her books. I just can't attach to her books for some reason. But anyway, those are my most read authors. Let me know some authors that you read a lot of and if you plan on checking out any of these authors that I have mentioned today. But that's all I have for you today. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!